seemingly never-ending trial of Mike Duffy has taken a break for a few weeks. Delays and long days of testimony are putting it on a collision course with the federal election campaign. Duffy's lawyers are painting a picture of a senator much in demand, doing his duty under what were ambiguous expense rules. But as Vashi Capellos reports, in this election year, the trial's most damaging revelations aren't about the expenses themselves, but about how involved the prime minister's office was in all of it. There's little doubt Mike Duffy was once a wanted man. Keep up the great work, Mike. Testifying at Duffy's trial, conservatives like Kathy McLeod and Dean Del Mastro described inviting the Senate star to events in their ridings. Del Mastro saying he was well known. He would be somebody that would be very easy to kind of get the word out, publicize it, bring a little bit of excitement that he was coming to town. So it's no surprise court documents show Duffy got special treatment, especially from the Prime Minister's office. At the start of the scandal surrounding his expenses in February 2013, emails show Nigel Wright, then Chief of Staff to Prime Minister Stephen Harper, describing how Duffy's expenses would be handled differently than other senators, writing, a purpose of this is to put Mike in a different bucket and to prevent him from going squirrely in a bunch of weekend panel shows. Months later, the documents show PMO staff met with conservative senators to talk about an internal audit into the expenses. Those senators then allegedly asked the clerk to take out some of the allegations against Duffy from the audit. This is pure Richard Nixon. The Duffy Gate cover-up was orchestrated right in the Prime Minister's office. This is, a, this is in front of the courts and we'll let the courts do their work, Mr. Speaker. The largest story that's coming out of this is that there is, in fact, a, a trial a potential trial against the PMO. Duffy has pleaded not guilty to 31 counts of fraud, breach of trust and bribery. The trial is wrapping up its fifth week. So far, Duffy's lawyer has put the Senate on the stand, showing expense rules were at best vague. Still, legal experts say Duffy could soon be in hot water, especially when the Crown digs deeper into the slush fund it's alleged Duffy used to pay expenses the Senate wouldn't have approved. Uh, Donald Bain did a, a destruction job on the Crown's case. But I really don't think that uh, Duffy, even though he's smiling at the moment, is completely out of trouble. The trial breaks now until June 1st, but things are taking much longer than planned, meaning we could be closer to the federal election by the time Mike Duffy takes the stand. Fashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa.